NYC Crime Map tutorial. Today we are looking at the basic functions of the NYC Crime Map. The website is available via desktop, smartphone, and tablet at maps.nyc.gov crime. The default map is a precinct map, which shades each precinct based on the crime rate. To zoom in, click on the plus and minus buttons in the top left corner. In the upper right corner, you can see the type of crime and the date range for the current map view. Click on a precinct to get more information about that area, and click on Show Details to get a breakdown of crime types. On the right-hand navigation bar, you can specify the crimes you would like to view. Select All Crimes to view all at once. You can also change the date range and view by month or year to date. You can get more information by clicking on a precinct or by using the list on the search bar to search by address, precinct number, or zip code. When you zoom in on a specific area, for example the 108th precinct in Queens, a chart appears in the bottom corner. The chart lets you compare precinct's crime rates between the current year and the previous year for the precinct, the borough, and the city as a whole. If you click on Compare All Precincts, you'll see data from all precincts. The 108th precinct appears in gray. Let's try another map view. If you stay zoomed in, you can go to the right navigation bar and click on Graduated Point Map. A graduated point map shows how many incidents occurred at a given location by drawing a circle in proportion to the number of crimes at that location. A bigger circle means more crimes. If you click on a circle, you can find out more about the crimes that occurred near a given location. We can also change the map view to heat map. Just like the other map views, you can change the date range or the crimes that the map depicts. Thanks for watching. We hope the map enhances New Yorkers' understanding of where crime occurs.